Ah, hello to the Crystal Lounge. I wasn't expecting a customer this far into the night. We're about to close in about an hour or so. How can I... Shit. It's you. Um... Well, uh, you found me. Huh. So, uh, is this what you've been doing since I was gone? Hide and seek? Have you just been looking for me? Actually, no, don't answer that. I don't want to know. Uh, come, uh, take a seat at the, at the bar. Can I get you something to drink? Well, of course I'm not going to kick you out. Why would I? Just because you found me doesn't mean that I have to kick you out. No, you're... You're a customer. And you're, uh... A good acquaintance. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm a little shocked. I didn't think you'd be able to find me this soon. We only fought a few weeks ago. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Oh, I bet you missed me. That's why you went to all the trouble to find me. Of course you did. Of course you did. <laughs> Anyways, before we talk, how about a drink? What can I get you? Ooh, all right. I haven't made many of those. And here you are. <sighs> no, I can't drink. I'm still on shift. Ah, well. Maybe, maybe after. Maybe we'll grab a drink after I'm done. So. How have things been out in the big city since I've been gone? I heard you had a few tussles with a couple of different heroes. I, I can't believe... <gasps> you cheating on me? <laughs> with other heroes? <laughs> It's okay. I understand. And the children wonder why we fight. <laughs> hey, come on. I'm a bartender. Joking is what I do. Now, if I was a comedian, you would have found me instantly. Anyways. Well, other than your strange motivation to find me, what brings you by? A visit? Do you miss having a conversation with me? Aww, that's so sweet. <laughs> so, is there anything in specific you wanted to talk about? Not really? All right. Here, well, let me tell you about the place then, while you think of something. Well, this is the Crystal Lounge. It is a bar, obviously. I am one of the head bartenders. Fun fact, as nice as this bar is, it's pretty... I wouldn't say it's unknown, but we try to keep it on the down low, just a little bit. Because along with regular customers, this is actually quite a popular spot for superheroes and some supervillains to come as well. I mean, not like any A-list supervillains or anything like that. Just like a, f just like a, just a few here and there, you know, in between their time from prison or just a misunderstand supervillain. I mean, it's like you remember Night Stalker? Yeah, uh, she comes here. A lot of the superheroes, like, I guess, feel for her because the situation of her being labeled a criminal was kind of unfair. The explosion that she was blamed for event like ended up giving her the powers and when you have the powers that a disaster is labeled under you know you're kind of uh associated to it and a lot of us thought that was unfair so anytime she needs to like just lay low or just kind of get away she's more than welcome here as as are you you don't uh, harm any innocent people. It's collateral damage. You cause them uh, about as much collateral damage as I do. So, you're welcome here. How many heroes come here? Ah, oh, we, we do get 
some from time to time, but we do get quite a few coming here. How many are here right now? Well, I can't exactly point them out to you, because secret identity. I mean, you found me, and that's fine, but I can't exactly point you out to other heroes. But uh, I will tell you, there is seven. Currently, there are seven heroes here. So yeah, we do get we do get quite a few heroes coming in. Eh, it's busiest on the Fridays, obviously. Everybody's out to party, and I, that's when I see the most heroes here. Uh, oh, let's see. Let me think. The most heroes I've ever seen here at one time is 17. 17 at one time. And this ain't a huge bar. So that's very impressive. And oh yeah, it's, oh, it's fun. It is fun. On the days that I'm off on Fridays and everything like that, they got another bartender here. I come and I drink as well. It's it's great. I like to catch up with a few with a few heroes here and there. And just get drunk and have a good time. <laughs> You've barely touched your drink. You nervous? You know, I should be more nervous than you right now. You found me. No, I didn't drug it. Are you serious? You made you watched me make it in front of you. No, I didn't. I didn't drug it. And I, I'm a little insulted that you asked. <sighs> Come here for conversation and then ask if I drugged your drink. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I might as well grab a drink as well. I don't think it's too much of a cardinal sin here. If I just keep it light and make this my only one for the ship. Nothing wrong with that, right? Yeah, that's right. Alright. Did you think of anything you wanted to talk about yet? You wanted to talk about... Morality? Me. I... Um... Oh, okay. Alright. Why, uh... Why the change of pace here? Before, I pretty much had to vow that I wouldn't spew morality junk on you. Just curious? Okay. Do you have questions, or do you just want me to go into a rant? My starting opinion for change? Okay. Well, I think everybody has the capacity for change. I don't believe that it's simply exclusive to heroes or even just good people in general you know doesn't matter where you come from what your background is every every living being has a capacity for change well that reminds me of a few villains it's like i mean there's i mean night, night stalker wasn't like evil originally it was just she was just very misunderstood and despite the world coming after her she still maintains it you know as a good mentality hell she even fights crime as like a vigilante sometimes and more power to her for that and you can pull a, a complete 180 you remember fireball yeah he like he was one of the worst villains i've ever seen but no, it was, I, he actually came in here the other day, he, he just got finished his, his prison sentence. Like, I haven't, I haven't seen him since I was a teenager. But, he came in the other day, and, uh, he had a life-changing experience in jail. Seeing the worst of the worst, and knowing where that ends up, he was just shy of the death sentence. He did good things in jail. Protecting misunderstood villains, uh, ex-heroes, and just... I, I, I'm not even entirely sure. I guess something in him just kind of clicked. So, he just retired being a villain altogether. He now works in an insurance firm downtown. I know! Crazy. So, if someone is 
the evil is Fireball. They can change their ways. I mean, I'm not saying you have to, but it is it is possible for you to change your ways. Like I said, you you haven't hurt any innocents, so it's not it wouldn't be hard. Something I learned a while ago was uh, for revenge you gotta dig two graves. One from the person you're against, and one for yourself. Because as satisfying as getting revenge is, it only eats away at your heart. And that's something I learned a long time ago. And I still try to follow it. It's a struggle. It is a struggle. There are some villains out there that do make me want to go over the edge a bit. But it's... The strong resolve of just doing good, preventing unnecessary injury. I'm still working on the collateral damage part, <laughs> but you know, you, you get what I'm trying to say here? Yeah. What, uh, what, what brought on this question here? Are, are you planning on giving up the the villain shtick or what, what's still have to do more soul searching? Okay, okay. all right. I, I then I'll, I'll leave I'll leave you to it. I'm I'm glad to know that uh, at least you're thinking about it. it. Does make me feel a bit better. Anyways, well that, that, that was a a mood changer. Yeah, uh, do you want another drink? Looks like you finished yours there. I Absolutely, I can definitely do that. Alright. Here you are. How long have I been working here? I've been here for... I've been here for about three years or so. This job does kind of circulate. A lot, of, a lot of people can't handle... Serving drunk people, I suppose. It's, it's very much a to each their own job. Typically, this is a stepping stone to move on to a bigger place. But I like it here. Small clientele helps with them being superheroes. A good chunk of them, anyway. And just me meeting people, discussing morality, stuff like that. I just, I just enjoy it. I'm not, not too much I can say about that. Okay, I have a question. Can you tell me about your fight with Power Man? I really want to know. I heard you mop the fucking floor with that guy. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to say I was rooting for you, but I was rooting for you. Power Guy is a... He's a dick. And a uh, really original name as well. Uh, the creativity is astonishing. Uh, 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 anyway, yes, tell me about your fight. I really want to know. Yeah? Yeah, he always act, likes to act like that. Oh. His mustache? Oh, I must have hurt. Tell me, did you see a tear leave his eye? You, oh. oh, you're you're my favorite. You're my favorite now. Oh. Uh, out of curiosity, how how badly did you did you beat him? Like a high schooler playing a basketball game with a sixth grader. All right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Ah oh, man, you gotta tell me more of, more of your stories. St still cheating, by the way. <laughs> Here, I'm, I'm off in a couple minutes anyway. Here, I'll, I'm sure no one will mind if I, if I step away for a bit and grab a drink with you. I think everyone's kind of done coming up to the bar anyway. Seems like a lot of people are starting to head out. So, yeah, stay. Let's talk and have some fun. We got darts over there. Come on.